Live from the Fastener Sports Studio. Powered by Fastenal. SWX on KHQ starts right now. Good evening, friends. As they continue to ride their best start in program history, the Gonzaga men's Twitter account has recently adopted a new hashtag. Hashtag run it back. Now, I assume metaphorically that means on to the next one or something like that. But tonight in Portland, the now number three Bulldogs and the Pilots literally ran it back. Second meeting in three days between these two. Some Monday hoops to make up for that postponed game earlier this month. You saw this one on KHQ. You also that, saw that sweet pass right here on KHQ. How about Shemek Karnowski hitting Jonathan Williams? It was number seven on SportsCenter. That made it four to nothing early on. Nigel Williams-Goss, he left Saturday's game after he landed on his hip. Well, the Happy Valley Oregon kid looked fine tonight in front of friends and family. GU starts the game on a 9-0 run, but the hot shooting pilots would fight back. Down six when Rashad Jackson hits from NBA range. We got a three-point game. He had 15, but the Zags from that point on would put the pedal to the metal. Karnowski, Williams, that connection works nicely. Shem to J3 for another jam. GU ends the half on a 16-4 run. They were up 15 at the break. In the second, Jordan Matthews, defense to offense again. Known for his shooting, but he can get above the rim. He had a dozen. Zags go up 31, so it is in control. 20 and 0. It's there, but this is scary. In the second, Killian Tilly up for the rebound. Ends up landing on a Portland player's foot. After the game, Coach Mark Few said it's a pretty bad ankle sprain. So that's kind of overshadowing this game. We're going to have to monitor the French freshman's status. But the Zags, nonetheless, are 20 and 0. 83-64, the final in Portland. Not pictured Zach Collins. He had 13-8. and eight. No time to rest, though. The Bulldogs welcome San Diego Thursday at 6. We're going to have that game right here for you on KHQ.